Channel 9 breaking news report. Good afternoon, I'm Channel 9's Scott Wickersham. Just briefly right now at 323, want to cut into programming to alert you to some breaking news that people have been sending us messages about. Take a look here. Pretty big water main break in Rock Hill, and a number of people have had low pressure or no water because of this. Live pictures here from Chopper 9. This is on Cherry Road, and you can see that muddy water just flowing into this parking lot. Uh, this, again, a 24-inch water main that broke, according to the city of Rock Hill, at the water plant there on Cherry Road. They say some people might have no water or low water pressure. Uh, we don't know how many people are affected, but um, I'm guessing a number of folks and you know who you are. Uh, we have heard from f people at Winthrop University saying they are monitoring this and their water pressure. We've been getting messages from people in Fort Mill who say they do not have water as well. Um, and of course, we don't know how long this will be out. We've seen crews out there with equipment in the water um, back in that parking lot with a backhoe actually digging as the water's coming out. So it appears right now they're still trying to get this water shut off um, and get this contained. Of course, then the repairs come into play, but um, you can see all the way down uh, this roadway right here, standing water, and it looks like police have this road blocked off. And again, I believe this is Cherry Road. So if you're anywhere in the vicinity of the water treatment plant on Cherry Road in Rock Hill, expect some closed roads there as the water is just kind of filling the low lying areas. And again, uh, this is breaking news from Chopper 9 Sky Zoom right now. So people around Rock Hill and we're hearing in Fort Mill as well. We can't confirm Fort Mill is connected, but it is likely um, affected by this outage. There's that uh, backhoe you can see at the top of your screen right there and some other equipment as they're trying to get this contained. Our South Carolina Bureau reporter Greg Suskin is headed to the scene right now. He's working his sources for information. We haven't heard anything about what you should do if you're on this water system, if you should continue to drink the water or if there are any concerns. All we're hearing is that some people without water and low pressure. Of course, you can expect restaurants to shut down. If they don't have water, they can't stay open. We don't know about any schools in the area that may have lost water. Of course, it's getting pretty late in the day, but there you see uh, many of those workers toiling over that water, just surging up out of the ground right there, trying to get this taken care of. So again, Greg Suskin's on the ground. Um, I want you to stay with us on the WSO see news app and of course Facebook and Twitter will update you on this as they try to get this turned off. I would expect though uh, many hours of delays and uh, maybe even longer of water issues for certain folks. We'll be back live at the scene on Eyewitness News at 5 and now we'll send you back to regular programming.